It's laundry day. This is a word. This is a word. I have quite a laundry list of things to cover with all of you. First of all, I want to show you something that I got. Ah, so I got a case of bananas from Whole Food, and I don't know if you can see this, but they are organic, fair trade uh, bananas. And uh, I went into Whole Foods and I asked, I usually will go in and I'll ask if they will sell me bananas by the case and if they'll give me a special price. And usually I can get some kind of a special price. And Whole Foods was pretty smart. They just told me right in the produce session section that the cost would be the regular by the pound for 40 pounds with 10% off for buying the case. Um, I'm not sure, but for some reason when I got to the register, there was a little bit of a problem. It was difficult to weigh 40 pounds, and so it all turned out that I ended up getting the case for like $22. I have a guest coming. Kearney V for vegan is going to be here from Montreal. He's going to be here helping me set up an indoor garden. I heard from the friendly activists, so there's some proof of life that Ali is out there and doing well. You know, he left a message on that video that I made a couple of weeks ago. So for those of you who were concerned about Ali, he seems to be okay and doing well. Uh, Melissa Kiwi Banana loved a couple of the videos that she made, she identifies as cis female, and she made a couple of really interesting videos that spoke to me directly, one on pansexuality, and there was also a cool video, a very short video on whether or not vegans are inherently introverted, which I was um, thrilled to comment on. I saw a link to a channel for the vegan introvert and there was a particular video that caught my attention why gay people should go vegan which is a wonderful video talking about like all of the reasons why gay people as an oppressed group should be able to identify with another oppressed group but he also brings up the fact that having been an oppressed group the last thing one wants to do is be ostracized and by becoming vegan it could lead to people who are members of oppressed groups who are just finding their way in society, just finding acceptance in society. It's a way of, you know, re-marginalizing oneself. And so that's a lot to ask, and it's highly problematic. Obviously, it's necessary that people do this, but uh, it is a challenge, and we should be sensitive to that. Juice, who is a recent subscriber, but also has an amazing channel of his own. I wanna commend Juice for having a great strategy for helping to raise the profile of YouTubers. I think that it's really important for us to recognize that there are thousands of YouTubers who are vegans who are vlogging about it. I can only imagine that there are thousands and we don't know even, you know, uh, this much of them. So let's go start finding them and uh, raising uh, our profile so that the world can see that vegans are a truly diverse and amazing group of people. Mac Vegan, who's been really active on the channel, and there was just a video that he put out, um, it was actually a couple of months ago for Father's Day, that I just thought was a really beautiful and touching video that was commemorating the one year. Um, it was his father's birthday one year after his father passed away. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Mac and offer my condolences and say that you are loved and much appreciated as part of this community. Thank you for being here. Um, Jesse Fruworth, Fruworth, I believe that's how you pronounce your name, who's a pretty kick-ass activist, and I went uh, to look at Jesse's YouTube channel, which is mostly like video documentation of actions that 
um, they've participated in. And just, it was kind of amazing. So really, really thrilled, Jesse, that you're a subscriber to the channel and really contributing a lot to the discussion. Also, Jesse Jumpkin, I wanna uh, thank you for contributing not only questions to the Q&A a while back, uh, you know, last week, but also for continuing to comment a lot and really keep those conversations going. Um, Chuck Riggs, who's also, I believe, a new subscriber, who's also just been contributing a lot to the discussions. And there are more of you, obviously, and I can't shout out everyone in just this brief update video, but I do wanna let you all know that I super, super appreciate your being here and your contributing. And I think that's it. I am having myself a little smoothie this morning. Look for a bunch of new videos. Um, obviously, there'll be some new uh, videos from the purchase students. There, there is going to be a What I Ate Today video that I'm editing right now. And you can look for, I believe there are going to be more episodes of Convertible. If you guys are interested, if not, I will let that series go. <laughs> if it's getting on everybody's last nerves, I'll let that series go. But as of for, for now, there's a plan to do at least one more taping. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto because it's I love myself, but it can do